Hi and welcome to my channel. This is uh, Mar Brooks from Clovis, New Mexico. This is a Clovis, New Mexico Astronomy Club star party at Ned Howe Park, just north of Clovis. You see, we got one telescope set up, and later on we'll have other families showing up to uh, join in with us. And there'll be more video clips as that happens. So keep on watching. Hey, while here at the star party, this is the uh, TikTok uh, effect called planets. Point the uh, camera at the sky and displays the um, the moon, deep space objects. I guess maybe that's uh, Mercury, Jupiter, the moon again. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A cool addition to this uh, star party uh, video. Yeah, skies are getting a lot darker, and as you can see, uh, in the distance, uh, Jupiter's now up. It's in the center of the screen, and of course, uh, Gary, our vice president, is going to uh, talk about his uh, telescope. Hey, folks. Uh, so, what we have out for tonight for our viewing is a Celestron um, Nexstar Evolution Altaz mount, and it's a it's a it tracks and and goes and slews to objects where that you tell it to do, or where you want it to go in this hand controller. Mm -hmm. And uh, attached to it is a Skywatcher Skymax 127 millimeter Maxitoff. And it's got a focal length of 1500 millimeters. And uh, it's a good reach uh, telescope for looking at the planets and stars. Uh, and, and packs a big punch for its five inch size. So uh, uh, right now we're just waiting on uh, uh, stars to be uh, to appear so we can do uh, an alignment and we can get started okay hopefully in time we'll have more uh, guests showing up so okay nice. yeah would yeah you guys come showing up were you were all out here last time we were here at Nethook? I haven't got to come this oh. year at all so okay what's your name Cynthia Cynthia okay. hi I'm Lisa hello Lisa I'm Gary, and this is Mark. Okay. Um, our other guy with the telescope couldn't be here. He went oh, to Okitex. So he went to where? Okitex. Hmm. It's, uh, it's kind of in Oklahoma, but it's a great place for um, imaging and oh. observing because it's really, he said it's the darkest place he's ever been as hmm. far as sky wise because there's no light glow from any town or anything. You'll get that here uh, a little bit, but. Because we don't have the moon, you picked a good night to come out. So, uh, oh, here is what we uh, plan on looking at. It's not so much for you to follow along tonight necessarily. It is uh, for you to, you know, maybe Google and get a little more okay. information on it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. You want one too, Lisa? Lawn with Earth. Okay. All right. Hey, did y'all bring a, a, a lawn chair? No, we didn't. No. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think we didn't it. think about it. So, yeah, about it, so. Yeah, I wish gotta, we had it, but we didn't think your, about it. <laughs> gotta put that on your checklist. Okay. <laughs> Normally we do, but I, I, forgot. I did not even think about it. So me and my sister had to have the car because we shared a car together. And, and well, so, um, are y'all from Clovis or we live in Patellas? Patellas. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We had a, an event last month in, uh, in Oasis that was. We didn't think it would be that's better good because the clouds <laughs> were were saturated the, the place at, at the time, but then they cleared out. But we still had the moon, and that went down. And by that time, it was around ten o'clock, so uh, mm -hmm. most everybody was starting to leave. But me and another fellow uh, that I work with, he had his telescope, I had mine, and we stayed up till about two o'clock out there. Wow. Oh, I don't yeah. have to leave at nine, so. Okay. Well, that's really when things get interesting. Oh. Well. Really. I mean, I, you know, if you got to go, you got to go, but. Yeah, we're going to stop and get something for supper before they close, so. Oh. Okay. Well, we can stay for a while. Hopefully, it'll okay. get dark um, enough where we can see uh, something, but I don't know. After, what time is it now, Mark? I don't it's know. A, I've, I've got a 7.21. Yeah. Probably another, hopefully another 15, 20 minutes to you know, get our eyes adjusted and start. All I need is some three stars to do an alignment, and then we can start looking at Jupiter. And Saturn should be, yeah, Saturn's right there, and Jupiter's yeah. on the horizon. 
Oh, well, just above the horizon, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 there it is in the middle of the screen. Saturn. I think he showed it to us, but... Um, of course, Saturn, well, Jupiter getting a little higher and brighter. We're looking at a variety of star clusters, a, a beautiful uh, double star called Abirio, uh, and some other, some other objects in here that... My birthday's Monday, so I was just wondering if you said anything for What's that? Libra. I said my birthday's Monday, so I was, I'm a Libra, so I didn't know if you have okay. any stars for Libra. Okay. <laughs> I'll be 52. <laughs> okay, interrupting our conversation, here's a list of uh, objects we plan to vi uh, view. But, uh, still, it's got me hooked. Got a long list, and yet, uh, well, hopefully, we'll be able to go through them all as the uh, night progresses and gets darker. Currently in progress, getting the telescope calibrated, so still take a while. And so far, we. We haven't had any further guests show up. Maybe later on they'll, they'll show up. More visitors showing up. Looks like a family. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they even, yes. even brought a couple of dogs. <laughs> Family with at least one child. I don't, I don't know. I'm seeing two, two kids, so. And, and there are two dogs. So. Hopefully more will show up. Talk coming to me too. All right, doing okay? All right, joining in the star party. All right, all right. Here we have a family of three. Uh, they brought their own telescope. To, uh, they're getting a view through it. Their dog's close by. And, uh, so. Those are viewing the gyroscope, or they're viewing uh, globular clusters, double stars. <laughs> Currently, we're viewing Saturn on the scope, so pretty shortly, I'll try to get a video of it, of the viewing. When we have time, would you use your phone yeah, where Saturn is? And Scott, yeah. if you don't mind. I'm going to try to get a. Uh, How long, Mark? Right when we're long. Okay. So. We'll try to get a. Uh, while you're trying to remember where things are, right here, video, video of it. Wow. Yeah, we're uh, waiting for that to get a little that higher. Okay. Look at that. So, okay. You'll see that one here in an hour. It'll probably be right about here. It's close to the same as that in Libra or whatever. Okay. Or did you say that one? Oh. Well, there, yeah, there's a Libra. Okay, company. I'm going to try to get a uh, view of the Saturn through the uh, eyepiece on the, the camera. Time. Mm -hmm. Of the night and turns into the year. Had a view of it. Yeah, yeah. Just had a view of it. Yeah, yeah. it, of it. <laughs> so it's tricky lining up the uh, oh, camera yeah, lens with cool. the uh, mm -hmm. eyepiece lens. What is it, scales? Yeah, my, leaf, my, yeah. Horse, my horoscope is Libra. I had a view yeah. of it earlier. On the scales. No, you want to be looking through it. Well, my mom was the twin, even though we didn't. Like yeah, you just got it. Just got it. Just got it. Uh -huh. That's the best I can do. You just saw earlier. I got a very brief view of Saturn. It's very tricky getting the uh, camera lens to line up with the uh, uh, the the, the, the telescope's object objective lens. Viewing more star clusters, and as you can see, uh, Jupiter is getting higher. And to the south, you can see some light in the sky. That's the lights of Clovis nearby. Well, hopefully in time we'll get a new view get a view of uh, Jupiter here okay right now we're viewing Jupiter and very shortly I'll put my uh, camera lens up to the eyepiece to see if I can get a good view of it now I'm going to try my shot of it you want to illuminate the sides of it for you let's see let's see if I can get a view of it. Yes. I don't have a faint view of it 
It's pretty faint feel, very faint. I just barely got it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try for a second view of Jupiter through the telescope. Steady, does it? Yeah. Like I almost had it. Oh God, I just got it. But that's the only Pretty good. Got it. Got it. Three moons showing. The only thing I don't like about that is you yeah, definitely a good view. Going, the next thing you know, but yeah, it's time for me to go. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I enjoyed filming it. You can see it's, it can be difficult at getting uh, Jupiter and Saturn in the uh, viewfinder with the camera that's on my smartphone. It's impossible to get the uh, nebulas or star clusters because they're, they're way too dim. They will not show in the video. So, and, and uh, a week from now, uh, Saturday, the, October 1st, we'll have a uh, Observe the Moon activity at the uh, Clovis Carver Library. I'll be there doing a video of it. We'll be viewing Saturn, Jupiter, and uh, the nearer first quarter moon. So, look for it, and thanks, thanks for watching.